What's up guys, I'm doing my very best to contain my excitement and don't want to spoil a lot, but this is just my first impressions of Doom. I'm going to take this whole week to analyze everything from my review, which will be up next Sunday, because that's what I do. I, re I do reviews if I want to review something. I take a whole week and do it on Sunday, being that Sunday is the final day of the week. It didn't make more sense. It would give me more time to analyze everything so no one says I can't analyze shit. Now, my first impressions of Doom, I fucking love it, okay? I really do love it. I mean, it gives you, it, it breaks up, it, it just breaks up the monotony of the military shooters we've been dealing with for the past, oh god knows how many fucking years, but you, you know what I mean. Now, Doom's not perfect, I'm not gonna say it's perfect, I've had a couple of uh, little bugs, like glitches, sometimes when I shoot the enemies. They'll either end up in the wall, or sometimes I end up going through them instead of doing the execution properly. You know, but those are things like that, and I've only really ran into that type of thing twice. Didn't run into it a whole lot. Um, and I don't judge a game solely for its story. Because in, in most first-person shooters, stories are, you know, stories are mediocre and monotonous. You know, they're, they, they make no sense and purpose, but... Doom broke that up with about uh, a lot of people have been saying the the campaign's 15 hours. Maybe if you're trying to do a speed run, buddy, I, I'm not doing a speed run. I, I've been taking my time with the campaign. I've been playing it for three days straight since its release, and I'm still not done. Maybe it could be I'm playing on a harder difficulty because I want the full Doom experience, and I have died a lot. But the campaign is pretty lengthy. I mean, the campaign is longer than Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And the majority of the COD games that came out, and it's actually longer than Battlefield, Battlefield 4's campaign. The because I'm not counting Hardline. Hardline doesn't exist. Fuck you. Um, but and it doesn't just like I mean, yeah, this is a retelling of Doom of the original Doom games, but I feel that Doom doesn't need a story because I mean the story you can't take Doom ser story seriously. You do. You're gonna have a terrible time. I mean, come on. It's. It, I know it sounded ridiculous back in the day that you know a, you're a soldier on Mars. All of a sudden, demon portal to hell opens up. Grab guns, blow shit up. I don't think there's more. And, and then in the sequel, you go knee deep into hell to save your pet rabbit Daisy. Okay, granted that was the greatest video gaming ending where you saw the city burning, you saw a rabbit head. But I mean, come on. I don't care for the, I, I I do like how they tried to tell this Doom story. It's told through um, you hear audio logs, you get explanations. Sometimes, sometimes either it's a loading screen. Uh, the loading screen would sometimes either be a cutscene or a transition, but that's very rare in between. But you do find audio logs or demonic information rooms that will unlock and open parts of the story that you're missing on what the humans have been doing and why the portal to hell is open up but plain and simple from the moment you start this game you hit the ground you are running the first thing you do kill demons when you wake up with a pistol and I'm not gonna spoil the rest of the story but the second thing you do get your armor third thing you do grab a shotgun and just go okay the game is just telling you to go 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 and the shooting mechanics are done very well I mean it's not monotonous, it's not repetitive, the enemies are not, there's there's no specific pattern to the enemy. Okay, sometimes enemies such as the Revenants, you know, the, the they obviously they have the grunts like possessed soldier, uh, possess, not soldiers, because I haven't ran into I've like possessed zombies and shit. But then you have other types that they'll jump on the walls, crawl alongside the walls and launch fireballs, you can't tell their pattern. Um, I don't know what this enemy type is, but it's like a type of witch that'll just teleport around. And she doesn't have a specific pattern. She can go anywhere. Um, same with the tougher enemies. Yeah, you have the bigger enemies from the original. They'll just run at you, but that's what they will do. They will try and throw your ass to the wall, and that's what has happened to me several times in this game. They have thrown my ass to the fucking walls. The enemies are not pushovers. So if you think they're going to come in here, you're going to come in here and push these enemies over I mean you're sadly mistaken the enemies have a great variety and I can name some off you know I, I know there's a couple more types but I'm gonna name off the types that I remember off the type of my head you know you have the Revenant the Moncubus uh, the uh, what's it Kako demon or Kaka demon I, I don't know and you have the iconic cyber demon 
and these they don't tell you this in the story mode you have to figure out their weaknesses to fully kill them I mean you can kill them yes but it's really tough if you don't kill them with the weapon that's their weakness which it makes you want to think okay and how to take on these enemies doom you know is not I, I don't want to spoil how this mechanic works but yes you do upgrade along the way and you can upgrade more and more and if you don't upgrade al along the way in the first playthrough I feel the game I I'm gonna play through the game again and once I complete it because I, I think I'm nearing the end and I'm 20 hours in on my time with the game 20 hours and I'm still not done that says something and the missions are long I mean they are really long um and then, then you have uh, multiplayer, which I mean, multiplayer, I'm going to save a lot of what I want to say for with the review. But yes, very uh, in this day of complicated first person shoot, like Call of Duty Battlefield, uh, how did I name a number? Uh, let me name some others. I know there's a couple others that will require you to do. Oh, Tom Clancy, The Division. Oh, not the, no, not The Division. Tom Clancy, The Rainbow Six Siege, and other games like that. Uh, confine you to play one way work as a team work to get well call of duty you you can't play no fucking way it's just guns to the, but for call of duty's play style running around just blowing shit up doesn't fit that was doom's uh style and that's how doom's multiplayer works with its handful of modes and handful of maps that are very satisfying in itself no one can really camp or spawn trap in this game because there's no camping there's no place for you to sit down so some of my gripes from first person shooters were answered um, I mean, people still, th there's still ways you can die in such bullshit manners, but you know what? With the high powered weaponry involving in Doom, that tends to happen. You know, um, I've been looking at other people's review, uh, I've been not reviews, but I mean, I'll see how people has, anybody has reviewed the game yet. I just, I like the game for itself because it's fitting the need that I have wanted from first person shooters for a long time. You know, if I want to play serious team strategy and actual cooperation, I'll play Battlefield. If I want to play fast-paced action and um, uh, being a Twitch shooter, I'll go play COD. Doom, if I just want to turn my brain off and blow shit up and not give a fuck, that's what this is for. And it takes you back to the early days of when FPSs were even more cool you know uh spawning power ups power weapons health packs armor packs ammo packs you know i mean come on i prefer that any day of the week and that gives newcomers to doom a chance because you don't need to play i, I gotta tell you right now you don't need to play the original dooms to play this game you play this game you know doom you're getting right into the to, to the fray and bethesda and id have done a great job with capturing what made doom like doom i mean i don't know how much more i can say i mean i am running out of thoughts here and i know there's a lot more on my head there's a lot i want to say but i want to i'm saving it for my review that's going to come out next sunday but i will be posting multiplayer with this match i have one of my buddies got him gaming uh also mad McNugget max to play this game with me so hopefully we can get more and if i just want to talk about maybe one more thing that I'm going to talk less of, but I'll talk more about in the review. I just want to make mention of here. The customization for the multiplayer for your character, it's all really good. You know, you can, it, it, this is all, uh, not attachment wise, you can just customize how your character looks, clothes, different patterns, uh, different schemes for the weapons and taunts and module abilities, which Call of Duty players call them rip off as kill streaks. Get this, you get kills to kill a kill streak. Modders, modder, um, Hack modules are just something that pop off and happen that you can use to give your team the edge. God forbid you start fucking losing. Okay? So, that's that's just like, that's right there. I mean, uh, so far how I'm rating this. Oh, yeah. Another thing. I saw the early in development uh, videos leading up to IGN's review of Doom. Okay, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're giving the game a 7. And that's coming from the people who give Call of Duty's 9 out of 10s or 10 out of 10s. Remember, these are the people that gave COD Ghost a 9, people. Do you really want to listen to them out of all people? I mean, the moment a game comes out, or a review is up in two days, when here I'm actually 
taking a week to review the game, but I wanted to do it first because this is how I'm going to do it. New game, played it for three days straight. First impressions, I do have plenty of hours on my hand to do this. Now, I'm going to take a week, analyze everything, and then unleash my excitement because right now I'm being very contained, self contained, and very chill. Because when I first played this game, it fills my needs and my balls were rocked. Okay? So, be patient for the review. You want to hear me go back chicken wild and go berserk? Look at my Doom gameplays that I will be uploading of multiplayer. And boom. The review will have plenty of that. Because I I really want to go crazy. I, I'm, I, I really want to sing the game's praises right now. But you know what? Sing the praises for the review. In this time of typical first person shooters. Typical military shooters. Uh, every year, Call of Duty. Once on a once every two years, Battlefield. Come on, can't beat this game. Just pick it up. It's worth its asking price. Um, until next until next time. That's been my first impressions of Doom, guys. Just get it, pick it up. Look out for the review. And I am out. Peace, my fellow YouTube community. Oh. Also subscribe to Gotham Gaming Madman Nugget Mats. Just wanted to shout you guys out there for once.